welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very, very exciting video. Um, and it is actually hard to believe that I'm doing this, but yeah, basically it has happened quickly, but I'm really excited that it's happening. Um, but we're gonna get a puppy on Friday. So today's Thursday, so tomorrow. Um, so obviously if you've followed me on Instagram or you know me, you'll know that our lovely dog Ralph was very sick for a long time with leukemia and we had to say goodbye to him at the start of January and honestly like it's just been the worst few months I've been so upset I've just felt so like lost and lonely and obviously I miss Ralph so much and but I as well as that, I just miss the company of a dog and like we only had one dog so obviously we've gone to zero dogs now and it's just the house is just so lonely and yeah I'm just really missing having a dog in my life and my family is the same and we've decided with obviously with lockdown this is not a COVID puppy this is kind of a like I mean yeah it's not a COVID puppy we've always had a dog like anyway um it just so happens that we're getting her now in the midst of the pandemic but yeah um I know some people will probably think that's very soon but he was sick for a long time um and this dog is obviously not a replacement for Ralph. This is just something to bring us a bit of joy and happiness again after we lost Ralph because it has been honestly so, so hard, like really, really difficult. Um, and I don't think it's really talked about enough, like how difficult, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> how difficult pet loss can be. So <coughs> yeah, so obviously with the puppy coming, he's a golden retriever um, and he's eight weeks old and he's very, very cute. Um, we've obviously I've gone absolutely crazy into like nesting mode and I have bought loads of stuff for him um and I just want to say like a lot of the stuff is not necessary it's just kind of fun added extra that I added extras that I got because I was just so excited um but yeah um I'll, I'll get started so I, I just want to say the first thing we bought was um we're crate training him so we got a 42 inch crate on Amazon it's the brand I think is Ellie Bow um, and then to accompany that we got a cover to go on top of it so it's kind of more den like I suppose um, and then with that now we've ordered a divider because obviously 42 inches and 8 week old puppy it's going to be massive he's going to be lost in it um, and it defeats the purpose of a crate if it's basically like a house for them so um, we've ordered a divider and now annoyingly it hasn't arrived yet so we're going to have to kind of make a makeshift divider for the time being but I'm sure we'll figure out something um, and yeah we got the cover to go with it Um what else oh yeah and then we got food I don't have these with me now but we got food bowls and like a little placemat thing to put those bowls on so yeah they're just kind of like the necessities I would say um, and then everything else is kind of well they are necessities some of them are necessities as well but a bit more fun I think Um so yeah so the first thing Sorry, I have all these down here. The first things I got were these blankets. I got them in Tesco. Um, they're actually just baby blankets and they're like four euro each. Um, I didn't actually buy one of those uh, crate cushions yet because I just didn't know how it would work with the divider. So I thought like we can just have a lot of these blankets around and they'll just be handy. We can put them in and obviously if he needs more, we'll get him more. Um, if he needs a cushion or something we will get it, it's just, I just kind of thought for the time being until I figure the crate situation out these will be handy and also for when he's being transported to our house like these will be nice because my dad is picking him up in and he's going to go in a carrier so um, so yeah sorry some of the stuff my sister and my mom got um, so yeah he's our family dog so obviously we all kind of chipped in and bought different things so um, but I just thought I'd show you anyway and so this is something that my sister got on Amazon and it's this little kind of teddy sheep thing um, but what's really cool about this is it has a little golden retriever on the on the or is it a lab no, it's golden retriever on the uh, cover but what's cool about this is it has like then that's him up close it's very cute but it has like this pocket here and inside it has like a little heart So it's good for like if they're um, if they've just been taken away from their mother or their litter mates. It kind of replicates because I'm already dreading the kind of the crying at night. I'm just I'm so soft and I hate I hate the thoughts of them being kind of distressed. But 
yeah, I think it's just something they all have to go through. And obviously, like, we're doing stuff like this to try and minimise the, the stress. So, um, loads of, I, well, I got loads of um, kind of treats, little um, training treats, I suppose. And I like these. These are Nature's menu ones. And this is the chicken flavour, but it's 95% meat, which I really liked because it just means there's less kind of crap in it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what size these are, but if they're too big, I might just, like, I'll chop them up and... Yeah, I think dogs like kind of smaller rewards. It's I'm used to training horses and like with horses you kind of give them like a bigger, um, like kind of bigger handfuls because they kind of need extra processing time. But I think dogs are a bit like, it doesn't, um, they just they can work with shorter, with uh, smaller pieces of, um, of food. And I got these ones, these are, uh, I think these are chicken flavor too. Please ignore my horrible horse nails. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, they're just kind of training treats. Um, these are another ones. These are kind of soft ones. Um, I got this little kind of pouch thing. And it's like a silicone pouch. Um, it's Dog's Creek. It's actually meant for outdoors, so I'm just going to use it around the house as well. Um, and it has, has this little clip thing. And it's silicone, so you can put like some of those treats that I just showed, you can put them in there, pop them in there, and you can attach this onto your coat pocket or your belt loop or wherever. And yeah, it's just kind of handy. So then when you're, you just constantly have the treats there and handy. And also because like you could probably use like chicken and stuff or kind of moist food as well, because you can just wipe this down um, and wash it, like rinse it really easily in silicone. So yeah, it's handy. Um, I'll probably be, I'll be using that when he's, Obviously, we're going to be have to wait for him to be vaccinated before we can bring him out. But be using that when he kind of comes to the yard and the ones. I got this little puppy brush. Um, has kind of soft bristles. I'm putting my hand like this. I don't know if it's like making a focus or not, but yeah, hopefully it's helping. Yeah, it's just kind of a soft puppy brush. Um, because obviously he's going to have his puppy coat for a while. Um, he's a golden retriever, so he will need a lot of grooming. So, um, yeah, the soft bristles kind of are kind of nice for their puppy coat. I think it's a nice gentle way of getting him used to being groomed. And I will, when he's older and getting his kind of adult coat, I really want to get one of those Ferminators because I just think they look brilliant. They have great reviews. Um, and given that golden retrievers do shed a lot and do need a lot of grooming, I just think, um, yeah, that that's the way to go. But this is a great starter brush. Grooming, I got him this like puppy shampoo. It's just meant to be mild specifically for puppies so yeah I just kind of want to get them used to being bathed and stuff because obviously I have a horse and I'll be bringing him to the yard and stuff and no doubt he's going to roll on horse poo or do something like that so um yeah I just want him to be kind of used to being bathed. Then I got him this mucky pup kind of this is like I don't know I think it's like dry shampoo for dogs it's like a rinseless yeah no rinse puppy shampoo um so basically, yeah, those times that he does get muddy or kind of smells like wet dog or, you know, jumps in puddles and plays in the mud, like this might be nice to um, kind of do in between baths, like just so he doesn't. This is something that my sister bought. And again, I think I'm kind of putting this with the grooming stuff because I think we'll use this a lot when he's being groomed. So it's just like a licky mat. Um, and these are, yeah, these have a lot of like benefits, like, they reduce anxiety and boredom, promote fresh breath, slow down eating, great for a snack, stimulate saliva, and to age digestive health. Um, yeah, reduce crate training time. So, yeah, like what we'll probably do with this is put like kind of peanut butter or yogurt or kind of bone broth on it and maybe freeze it um, and then give it to him while we're brushing him so he kind of builds up kind of positive associations with being brushed and being groomed from the outset because obviously. Being a golden retriever, it's very important. So, yeah. So this is kind of, and also just like we'll probably put make it up for him and put it in its crate and stuff, so he gets used to his crate. And it's just just a handy way to kind of. I kind of nearly think I don't know. This is like something I've just made up, but like kind of passive training, as in like you can just make this up, put it in the crate, and then he can go into the crate, and it's basically like he's getting the positive associations of being in the crate, but you're not actually having to be there with him the whole time so it's great if you have like a zoom call or something like if anyone follows me from um, kind of my horsey stuff with ruby you all know that i'm really into like kind of enrichment and animal enrichment so i got this snake toy 
and it has like kind of he's like split in the middle and you can like stuff food in there and yeah treats in there so it'll like um yeah basically it kind of it makes it harder they have to work to get their food and it's just kind of more kind of mental stimulation for them and kind of with puppies I think it's very important that they get that mental stimulation because it tires them out just as much as kind of physical exercise and obviously you don't want to be like over exercising a puppy that's growing and um, his joints aren't able to support like large amounts of physical exercise so yeah these things are great. See we got some kind of soft toys so I got this little monkey he's very cute he has kind of rope arms and yeah this is just kind of soft toys for if he wants to cuddle it or chew it or puppies are chewers they're teething and stuff so we got him this nyla bone um which yeah so i know puppies can be quite like nippy and stuff and anytime he tries to nip or whatever i'm just gonna like redirect him to a chew toy some more training treats then i got him this kind of cuddly llama toy or i think it's an alpaca maybe doesn't say but um yeah anyone will know anyone that follows me on instagram will know my um my ongoing issues, my ongoing struggles with Ruby and the alpacas. So I just kind of thought I saw this and I just thought it was funny, really. Um, it's very cute and it has that kind of crinkly stuff inside it, which is kind of good, sort of sensory toy. And yeah, just think he's, he's very cute. I got a Kong. Um, I don't know, this isn't the puppy one, so he might not be able to have this for a while. I'll kind of see, I can't really, he's eight weeks old, but I can't really picture like what he would be like. It's just been so long since I've had a puppy. So um, this might be too big for him, but he will he will use it at some point so I'll, I'll see what it's like um yeah and you can make up your own fillings for these like kind of yogurt or peanut butter or bone broth and there's loads of different recipes so a lot of people like kind of fill them up and then freeze them and that's good if they're teething and stuff it suits kind of soothes their gums so yeah it's very yeah the... i bought this paste now i don't think this is healthy at all it's like kind of liver flavor um yeah so this is probably i'll probably will stick this in the kong um or on the licky mat and yeah this is just kind of handy if you don't have time to make up your own kind of filling um i just kind of save time it's also just convenient but yeah i don't think it's the healthiest thing there's a lot of preservatives and crap about this teething gel now to be honest i haven't really heard much about whether or not these are good seem to have good reviews on amazon it was like only like eight euro or something so kind of just thought like I'll get it and if it helps a bit like it's it's worth it um because yeah helps soothe sore gums reduce unwanted uh and disruptive chewing obviously he has two chew obviously he has chew toys but just like if this kind of helps reduce any irritation or kind of makes him more comfortable then I think it's worth these these smell Ooh, they smell so like meaty but um they're these alpha spirit wild and perfect liver sticks um semi-moist hyperallergenic so they're highly high, highly palatable i can i can guess that from the smell of them but yeah they're just sort of liver sticks that i will probably give him as a treat maybe when he's being groomed or when he's doing something like kind of getting his nails clipped or something that just kind of again just always building up positive associations and these are like 85 percent meat or something so again not a lot of kind of crap in them so this jar which is um gonna be for his treats so i'm gonna like probably empty all those treat packets that i have into this jar and yeah they'll just keep them like it'll just kind of we can just take them from here i think it's kind of airtight and stuff so yeah just thought it was cute has little paw prints on it and i probably can't see see through oh maybe you can yeah just thought that was cute um and then another enrichment toy I got was this snuffle mat. So again, I think these are brilliant. These are like any you hide the treats in them. Has all this like kind of loose fabricy bit here, and then there's like little pockets on the side, and it has these like kind of string bits so you could tie it to like a the leg of a table or something. Um, and I got this on Amazon. I think it was only like twenty euro or something. But yeah, I just kind of think like kind of if you hide treats in this, and you know give it to them like it's a half an hour of kind of just enrichment for them it's kind of nearly like we're sitting down and watching an episode of friends or watching a tv show like it's just kind of something that gives them a bit of entertainment so 
um, and yeah like sniffing kind of reduce, uh, releases endorphins and stuff and like it's really just good for them and natural kind of encourages kind of natural behaviour so I just kind of think yeah these things like are really cool I think you can make your own as well like you don't have to buy one although this was 20 euro so it's not it's not really expensive but obviously I know puppies are expensive and if you want to kind of save money to have if for more important things like veterinary visits and stuff then you could probably make your own versions of those and I think there are tutorials on YouTube but as with all the enrichment toys you couldn't make your own versions but um yeah I was just I, the excitement kind of just over overtook me and another enrichment toy for when he is a bit older I got this Nina is it Nina Otteson um, I'm not going to take this out because the bricks will just all fall out of it but basically if you can see on the cover it's kind of like a like a little puzzle for dogs and you hide the treats under the kind of the lids and they have to figure out how to get at the treats. Um, this is a level two so a medium. Um, don't know how he'll get, <clears throat> I don't know how he'll get on with this and we probably won't be using this for a while like I don't think he'll be able to fur it at eight weeks old but uh, yeah I just I just love stuff like this so I just think like it's just brilliant to see so many enrichment toys out there for dogs now at the moment and it's just it's great because it's just another way to make our, our animals lives better in a way that they understand like don't get me wrong I love like all the kind of cute coats and cute outfits and stuff but at the end of the day that doesn't really make them happy whereas kind of snuffle mats and kind of looking for their treats and stuff does make them kind of happy and engage them so um yeah, I just thought, I just think these kind of things are brilliant. I got this little doorbell for when he wants to go to the toilet. Um, oh, I don't think you can see. It's like, yes, yeah, so this, this bit like sticks onto the door and there's two of these actually, two of these. And then this is the receiver that you plug in. Um, oh, my sister got this, sorry. I don't want to take the credit, my sister got this. But um, yeah, basically after I showed her videos and just how cute it was, but uh, yeah, you do not need this to toilet train your dog, like it's uh, very unnecessary, but I just thought it was so cute and I'm really in, I love training and I'm really interested in animal behaviour and stuff, so I just thought this is a really cute way of them asking to go to the toilet, so um, yeah, that's kind of everything. So I will hope you enjoyed and I hope this has kind of given you some ideas if you are expecting a puppy or getting a puppy soon or just looking on the internet at puppy things for your future dog um and yeah i will be back very soon with puppy spam um yeah i'm just so so excited um but yeah hope you enjoyed i'll chat you in my next one